We really went from dusty to damn who's that. for the first time then hey what's up welcome my name is Zay as you guys can tell from the title in this video we will be transforming from that to this in a matter of a couple of minutes so if you're interested in seeing this video to see how we got this whole look makeup hair all that good stuff then keep watching but before we get into the video don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed already Join the gang. You gonna love it here, girl. I promise. Okay? So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright, y'all. So, <laughs> we finna transform. We gonna go from these braids to... Okay? So, I have these braids. They're a little over two weeks old. And they just they, they just not looking good no more. Now, they really starting to look like wig braids. So, that's what we finna make them into. So, I'm finna throw on this wig today. This curly wig. That I constructed myself. This hair is very old. This hair is... 2018 old and we're in 2021 wow maybe it's 2019 old i don't know but the hair is old okay and all i did was get a new closure this closure gift scalp this closure is from laced by amari so if you're interested in shopping with them their information will be in the description box and i do have a coupon code so that you can save some money it is zay doll tell them i sent you okay so without further ado let's just get into it these braids gotta go so i'm finna cut them so i could wear them under my braid did i cut my hair maybe not y'all know i'm bald headed so i probably didn't so I'm going to cut the rest of these braids out, put them in this bag, and then we're going to get to styling this hair, okay? I really done cut all these braids off. So now that that's done, I'm just going to put on my wig cap. This is a fresh brand new wiggy. So let's just throw it on. Look how flat like everything lays. I, I personally couldn't even get my wig braids this, this flat. So I just I'm just gonna tuck the hair under. No lumps, no clumps, none of that. I love that for me, okay? Like I really do. Alright, so the glue we finna be using. Ooh, oh Y'all know I'm always dropping something. The glue that we're gonna be using today is this Supreme Ghost Bond. Honestly. I'm sure this hold ain't gonna be supreme no more because I've had this glue for quite some time. So I'm just gonna put it on my perimeter. That is, the wig is a 5x5 five five closure, so it's a, it's a bit wider than your average closure, obviously. So I'm just gonna extend it to like right here. I'm not gonna put too much because, well, I'm just not gonna put too much. It's a closure. All right, so now that that glue is on, I'm going to take my little mini got to be sprayed only because I can't find my big one. And I'm just going to, oh, oh, that's, ooh, that's cold. Spray it on her. Fumes got in my eyes. Y'all, I swear, filming in the summertime is not for the faint of heart because if you have your AC on, if you have your fan on, you're going to hear in the background. And then you got all these lights up. So it's already hot because of the lights. And now you can't even turn on your fan or your AC. Baby, it's hot, okay? But it's it's okay right now. We cooling. So I'm just going to put this wig on, slide it to the front. I love this wig. Like, I really, I feel personally not to do my own horn but i feel like i customized this wig perfectly like perfectly from the construction and all and it is a transparent lace not even hd baby and it is fully given okay 
Look at that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So here's the Nairobi. This is actually my old bottle. I can't find my most recent bottle because, I don't know, stuff just be growing legs and just dipping. So I'm going to just, hopefully, it, hopefully it works. Oh, it's a little something here, okay? It's a little something we working with. So y'all know I'm going to just put that on. And, ooh, ooh, that's hot. Okay, ooh, baby, that's hot. But if it ain't hot, is it working? No. So, we gonna do like that. We gonna do like that. And then, like that. So now I'm gonna take my Edge Booster, what's this called, wax stick. And I'm just also going to add this to give it, you know, that extra flatness, no flyaways. I need it to stay in place for this sleigh okay go back in with my hot comb yep just like that baby so now it's time for the baby hairs and then i'm gonna tie it down with my elastic band so i learned the perfect trick to perfect baby hairs is gorilla snot and i tried it and baby let me tell you it works. Wow. Let y'all see the difference this gorilla snot make? Like, let me make sure it's not too much by my eyebrows. But listen, this gorilla snot. Is that girl so now I'm gonna just use my elastic band and just <laughs> y'all know let it let it work its magic let it do what it do and now we're gonna get into makeup so as y'all know and if you don't know if you are new I did have my brows micro shaded so there's not much with those that I have to do I just brush them into place I still use my Fenty Beauty wax stick just to you know keep them flat and in place mm-hmm then I'm just gonna go in with my concealer and you know just conceal around it just to like make it pop make it seem like you know you know just to make it pop I'm not gonna fill them in or anything cuz I don't need to so now that the brows are on oh they're looking good honey I am about to prime my face with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Primer. Mm-hmm. I'll be trying to get all in there with this stuff. Like, I love this primer. And my hair, but that's okay. Mmm. Okay, wow. I'm really loving this hair. I'm going to tame it. It's going to be more flatter, but... I love the curly hair look like it's really giving beach babe <laughs> now I'm going to set my face with this this it spilled all over me okay so I put this all in like my areas that are susceptible to getting oily like all my oily areas my t-zone my smile lines because these things be cracking Okay, so now that that's done, before I go in with my face, I'm going to just let that sit. We're going to go in with some eyeshadow. I haven't done some eyeshadow in a minute. I don't think I'm going to do anything too crazy, nothing too fancy, but I'm going to give y'all a look today, honey, okay? So I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Jackie Aina palette, okay? And for my base i think i'm gonna go in with the shade edges i'm always going in with the shade edges so i'm not even surprised so we just gonna put that all on our base and the brush that i am using to be honest i probably can't even tell you but let me try to tell y'all right now this is the luxie 207 medium angled shading brush I got this in one of my boxy charms a minute ago. You know when when you when I was subscribed to Boxy Charm, and yeah, they be sending all the good brushes. Like if y'all want to subscribe to Boxy Charm, I still have like a 
a cold which i will link and i will also link the video to my first boxy charm so y'all could go ahead and check that out so i'm just gonna continue to put edges on my base so now that that's on the next shade that i'm gonna go in with is solil so solil yeah this this shade right here okay it's like a a gold shimmer and i'm just going to oh this was brighter than intended i thought it would be so much looser than this so much thinner than this wow i mean i was trying to be cute but i wasn't trying to pop out like so but it is what it is we already here honey so i'm gonna apply that to the other eye just like so honestly now when it comes to makeup like i've been so in love with like the the neutrals the soft glams like once in a while i probably do some colors something that'll pop but like the golds the browns the neutrals the nudes that's what your girl be loving now like even this look right here hold on let me zoom y'all in i'm being grimy like i'm being od grimy started the face ain't even zoom y'all in but even with this color right here baby to me like this a lot like i'm not even going to a party but it looks good though definitely looks good oh i'm going back in the same going back in with the same brush that i started with for the shade edges and i'm just like you know just going in to brush out any harsh lines and i'm just going to be going back and forth to fix what looks like it needs to be fixed that makes sense we coming along we coming along we looking good okay so now i'm just gonna go in with a black liner this is my black liner from cover girl i believe yes the whole label is just gone but so now i'm just going to do a nice little calm wing liner we're doing good we're doing good we're doing good eyeliner is a bit uneven as per usual but we're doing good so as that dries i'm just gonna go in with my fenty beauty foundation my pro filter soft matte foundation in the shade 430 to be honest i feel like i need to get a summer shade because with this shade i can't put too much because i'm fake tanned all right but i be making it work but i definitely need to get a summer shade we're just gonna blend this in do what it do make it do what it do wow honestly i feel like i have not done like a sit down makeup video a sit down video period but a makeup video is so long did you guys miss me did you miss my makeup i feel like now with my makeup now compared to my makeup when i first started doing youtube like i really be chilling now before when i first started i was doing like we was doing a lot okay now i just really love like the soft not doing too much makeup looks like i could really get jiggy with this over and over and over again it's getting hot oh. fan flashlight and a portable charger baby you can't go wrong let me take off this band so i could fully get my face oh oh like lace where what lace where is it can you detect it i sure can't so now we're just gonna go in with some concealer this is the maybelline fit me concealer in the shade 45 which is tan i recently started using this and i like it like i'm not crazy about it it's not bad but it's definitely a good concealer and it's drugstore it's affordable so if you're looking for that she is your girl now i'm gonna go in and just you know blend that out i like to spray my brushes with my setting spray this is the morphe continuous setting mist and let's let's something fell again and we're gonna blend her out like the way the concealer literally just brightens your face with even just like a little bit a little bit definitely goes a long way and i like that for me <laughs> i love that for me 
Okay, so now that that is complete, it's time to go in with my Laura Mercier setting powder in the shade Honey Translucent, Translucent Honey. So I'm just going to set the same places that I just highlighted. wow like y'all see how y'all see how my face just like came together so i have these lashes right y'all know i love my lashes long and dramatic so i have these long and dramatic lashes but now i feel like if i put them on they're they're going to take away from the eye makeup look that i got so i'm actually not gonna put them on i'm not gonna put them on i have another pair of lashes that i'm gonna put on these lashes are by lash by muse and they are in the style muse sorry I, I peeled one off but this is the style of one so i'm just gonna put these on i like these two though so yeah i had to keep them in a box because being out there so long I know I love my lashes long being out there so long I didn't put them all the way in the box the first time I wore them and they started like crip walking so I had to just put them in a box for like a day and they got their regular shape back so let's apply okay let's apply okay so this is the style muse and this is the style brat the full one that I was saying is like really dramatic and I think I'm gonna go with brat instead like it's just really given so now that the lashes are on it is definitely time to take this powder off the setting powder i honestly feel like i even had it on for way too long so but we're gonna take it off i know i'm looking like casper don't worry we gonna get it together i'm gonna go in with my contour palette and bring some 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 melanin back to my skin Boom, 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 boom. We getting there. So I'm gonna put some on my forehead too. We looking good, y'all. What y'all think? We gonna look even better when we set. The thing about makeup is you dead ass just gotta trust the process. Like you might start off looking crazy, but you really have to trust the process and don't do too much if you don't trust the process because then you really gonna look crazy once you set your face things usually come together once you put your lashes on when you done with your makeup look things come together see we came together i'll just add some blush just for the sake of the video i don't really you know i ain't really too pressed about it but i'm gonna go in with my vanessa juvia's place palette and i'm gonna go in with the shade stush and just add some little rosiness to my cheeks mm -hmm. so now what we finna do is set this face <clears throat> that felt so good like so good now that the face is set i'm just gonna go in with my covergirl mascara and just put that on my bottom lashes never make the mistake of putting on mascara right before you set your face don't do it i've done it before and you will look like you were crying for three days straight with mascara okay okay so now it's time for our lip combo so i'm going in with this lip liner from lip lock by t it's a black owned business i got it at some pop-up shop i ain't get the instagram i ain't get none of that but it's just a a nice dark um liner i actually really really love this liner i'm gonna try to find a instagram so i could get more then i'm going with my juvia's place lip gloss in legit nude swipe that one time pop your lips mm-hmm then i'm gonna go in with my lip gloss from the beauty supply store this is the regular clear NK lip gloss and just dab that right in the center for that super glossy look. And boom. So now I'm just gonna take this spray bottle in here. It is water. 
and um leave-in conditioner by miel it's I, I believe it's the hawaiian line and i'm just going to spray i feel like there's more water in here than anything but i'm still just gonna spray This is the hair wet and this is the hair dry. It's still given on this side, but this side is more like, you know, a beachy look. I'm going for like a calm dress down look today. So this side is not giving. So I'm just going to go ahead and wet it too. I also have a video on how to, oh, I wet my whole face. I also have a video on how to achieve like the wet look on deep wave curly hair which will be linked right here it's super old so pardon like <laughs> how it may look i may even redo it i believe i will redo it because my technique is slightly different but go ahead and check it out if you're interested in seeing what i'm doing overall and i'll tell you how i'm substituting some of those products mentioned in the video all right you guys so this is the finished transformation we really went from dusty to damn who's that like i'm loving it this wig ugh, one of my favorites in my whole collection so if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up comment down something below let me know how you like this look subscribe if you are not subscribed already we are on a road to 3k we about to be there as y'all can see you want to be here when we get there okay i love you guys so much thank you guys for tuning in again and i will see you all in my next video Mwah.